Good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another Science School. Yes, today we have another special uh, OS to cover. Right now we are now covering the Tron Manjaro, which is derived from Manjaro but has uh, a trade free uh, setup in this uh, particular operating system software. So anyway, let's dig into this particular uh, OS. Let's go to the website. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, you have the Tromanjaro.com website in our screen right now. I already opened the website. There you have it. You can see it. So let's uh, try to dig in to this uh, particular operating system software. So it is a trade-free operating system software based on Manjaro Linux and designed for your brains, but uh, you can install it on a computer. No ads, no tracking consumes you, no free trial and no BS. So let's check it out. So you have to, to choose. Wow. So you have to choose from this six types of layouts from Windows, from MX uh, Plasma KDE, from uh, Unity, from Ubuntu Unity, uh, of course, Mac OS and GNOME Desktop and the Desktop X or Top X. The shortcut Desktop X becomes Top X. <laughs> so you also have to choose from different types of backgrounds right here. Wow. So awesome, 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 right? Awesome. So where is this? nature 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 oh wow this is awesome they have a lot of uh, backgrounds to choose from and I'm so excited to to install this in the virtual machine or probably I gonna install this into the uh, desktop soon very soon very soon and I want oh so many okay there's a lot even japan uh probably in the u.s uh that's also japan fuji mount fuji uh that's alaska iceberg oh i know this place i know this place i know this place ah it is in the philippines this yes there it is is it is confirmed it is in the philippines so this is actually from daraga or in albay or near Legaspi uh city in albay in the philippines this is mount mayon volcano so they have created this three type of of uh wallpaper and this is awesome they have the settings of the sunset they also have the night time and the daytime wow that is awesome so they have also customized some icons that thousands of applications that choose from different types of themes like the light and the dark yeah like it they also have highly customized themes oh the general themes so you can cost my app oh how about this one <laughs> windows <laughs> yeah they have a lot of themes right here so I'm looking forward for this particular OS so easy to manage easy to change and customize even the uh, settings of the manager wow and they have the software manager at the same time so it's based on Manjaro at the same time so Manjaro is kicking up uh, going back into its basic roots uh, I remember they, they this particular uh, OS they have a lot of different uh, OS and 
Manjaro is one of the best uh, KDE plasma is one of the best that's why we have TV that is come out with plasma TVs uh, we also have the pop OS which is under the cosmic desktop thing ish and we have also the Ubuntu and the Linux Mint so yeah they have a lot uh, going on right now so ooh, this is GIMP actually this is uh, a GNU um, image manipulator program GIMP GIMP uh, gestures tiling window tiling minimize and maximize move around uh, workspaces uh, they also have show the apps launcher and the virtual keyboard for the touch screen ah, So they have a lot of software right here. Oh, they also have the privacy thing uh, Record yourself record your thoughts by writing of course record yourself by right now video cam record your screen on oh, the screen recorder and record your voice ah the microphone <laughs> and of course the you have this different types of files going on right here so you can explore and create yourself uh, something from scratch uh, let me see so this is a trade free project so nice let's uh, look into this uh, this uh, so called uh, about this is what I want highly documented very very interesting so trade free the uh, the origin of most problem hmm yep trade that's why they have this so they set up this uh, Trump site since 2011 so this is already the uh, very good actually they have the thought they have the uh, theme and it is built from X face uh, desktop so you can switch and of course the, the applications like flat packs Libra Vita uh, GTK plus GTK and QT so I like it they have a lot of information right here so let me see even the application let's try to open the application before we we go into the the installation I want to see maybe I'll just go to the part uh, part one part two thing if this is taking too long I'll just gonna cut it to, uh, for you to have a you know instead of like going forwards I'm just gonna uh, just gonna cut it uh, uh, part one part two the introduction and the installation if it take too long right so they have the QGIS the QGIS if you're into the editing of the geographic like the land uh, for the maps so I'm into that one because before I was a uh, disaster manager in the Philippines where I work as a disaster uh, related uh, programs like from disaster man-made disaster natural made and emergency situation either it is by accident or by human induced uh, problems uh, so that's why I'm into GIS at the same time and I started my GIS way back like in 2009 I think yeah I think I started my GI QGIS in 2009 I think I still have this this uh, certificate <laughs> yep I think I think I still have the certificate yeah I have the certificate <laughs> I just don't uh, let people see my certificate you know so anyway uh, let, let's let uh, try to see they also have the system information the share preview and so and so forth there's a lot of, of applications right here let me see how about this one 
uh, edit and create or create and edit of course uh, we already have the QGIS and the olive the olive is the video editor the non-linear video editor uh, the mouse pad uh, which is the coding and the uh, natron which is basically uh, coding uh, coding a programmer hmm. uh, a hacking thing hackers hackers because hackers is programmers programmers are hackers so the hackers that uh, literally popular right now the term uh, hackers are actually the bad hackers because the good hackers are the programmers or just namely like hackers okay so I hope I I have to correct you guys at the same time and of course only office one of my personal favorites uh, before I discovered this one uh, because it started with open office and eventually turned into only office but before I was using Libre office but all of them are cool okay let me see yep there's a lot if you want to visit their website just visit their website it's tromjaro.com uh create organize yep you have to write it there right here the stream recorder yeah we have the dj thing yeah of course i'm also a dj before uh mix the with the triple x mix uh dj software recorder voice recorder or sound recorder we also have the uh, simple screen recorder the green recorder <laughs> yeah and yeah of course right now I'm using the OBS studio right now for all of this stuff that's why I have some great uh, graphics uh, at the back right background right now the rust deck at the same time it's here and hypnotics yeah hypnotics is also here how about this one this is the browser and explorer uh libri office oh we have the ice cat meow yeah <laughs> sorry i would just uh, like to you know to to imitate the cat ungoogled chrome or the chromium yeah the chromium is the ungoogled version uh huh app pool app image pool at the same time there uh, torrents right here fragmentations and warps and lunch sharing blah 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 thing play and enjoy yeah there's a lot right here oh okay this is too much <laughs> education uh, let me see education I'm here uh, actually I'm hooked into science so let me see if they have a lot of science yeah geographics right here cool they also have ooh right here Stellarium I remember way back when I was still a kid uh, I love to to think and uh, dreaming about stars what is stars are and the first uh, time that I uh, look into this Stellarium website which is only in desktop because at the time we don't have cell phones yet it's only through desktop or website so I try to look into this star mapping and try to estimate the the degrees of how many degrees from zero degrees which is north and then towards the azimuth which is the counterclockwise until you reach the the 360 degrees around you which is go back to the zero degrees and the altitude which is from the horizon towards the uh, the zenith on top of your head because the, the the 90 degrees instead of saying 90 degrees over your head we call it zenith so that's the thing so it is awesome uh, if you are hooked into this particular uh, astronomy like K star or KDE stars ast uh, Astellarium and all of this stuff it's really cool I also remember if 
I don't know if they have some electronics right here because I remember when I was still very young I think this is electronics mm, I don't know uh, I remember when I was really really young like grade 2 grade 3 but uh, grade 3 was the the very first time that I was like hooked into electronics I need to to know things like I open a cassette player to know what particular parts are moving and eventually turn into like a hacking thing yeah of course hacking okay it is a hacking electronic hacking how uh, when you push the the record and then if it's turn on the microphone so you need to have the magnetic tape rolling and then transfer it amplifying the microphone signal into the magnetic tape and then it transfer the magnetic sound into this tape and then suddenly you have that sound thing so that's hacking so good hacking is a programmer or things you try to create by knowing and bad hacking are those uh, popularized right now as the pop culture as, as they call it hackers but actually hackers are positive or negative if you are positive hackers you create things negative hackers you destroy things so that's a thing but for me hackers are still hackers we are programmers we are uh, electricians we you need to know <laughs> so that is why I love to create things and yeah uh, I could call call myself as a hacker a good hacker that's why I'm a teacher for science <laughs> and teaching you about this Linux thing because well Linux uh, it's for free you, you can download it and if you have the expiration of your Windows you just install Linux and then you're good to go no payments no everything it's obviously for free everything is free as in freedom okay and of course you can also pay them at the same time but most of the time it's free so free download manager at the same time right here uh, in the utilities and highly customized and personalized right here so it's really awesome huh. the Windows 10 dark theme <laughs> I just like <laughs> so I'll stop abruptly <laughs> so there's a lot right here so let's try to go to the download let's go to the download let's see if what we can find so they have the two versions right there let's go for the green one it's oh let's go for the green one uh, open in the new tab so let us see it is opening right now so we have two different types of of ISO which means an image file this was uh, uh, huh the uh, September no 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 September is uh, 10 9, 9, 9 okay September 30 2022 they have uh, this version the ISO the image uh, file which is 3.5 uh, 3.6 gigabytes and the other one is the 10th which is October October 6 2022 which is 3.7 gigabytes of ROM how do you download this one so you just click this one or click this one it depends and then click this action and then when you click it you click download and then you just save it anywhere you want so there you are but of course I'm gonna cancel that one because I already download it in my uh, what you call this in my VM in my box so let's go to our VM box right now let me go to my windows change this one go to the boxes yes there you have it so let's uh, full screen this one because 
do I already? F oh, uh oh. Okay, already full screen. Let's enter. Let's wait. Is it? Okay. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Okay. I didn't close it properly. Okay. Again. Bootable device. No bootable device. Uh oh. Oh yeah, because I remove it. So. Oh no. Okay, let's delete this first and then try to again so re for that one there's a lot of file that you can see right here <laughs> okay let's set a memory like eight eight yeah i'll go for eight and then let's just put 20 gigabytes of hard disk virtual hard disk enter okay we have the open just click it that one that one okay that one that one oh let's full screen this one so that you can have the full screen experience let's wait it will be a little bit longer maybe i'm just gonna cut this one and then and then just go to the thing because I think this is a take too long <laughs> the video is taking too long I don't know maybe I'll just gonna put a little music edit a little bit I don't know maybe it's just gonna be like this so as I said <laughs> so so we will try to know about this Trom Jaro OS based on Manjaro. Yep, there you have it. So, yeah, it's loading everything. So, let me try to change the. Where is that setting? Settings for the display. Let's go for 1080. Where is my 1080? 1080, 1080, where are you? 1080. Uh oh 1080 oh there it is <laughs> okay I'll just keep it that way that way okay so I'm here in Thailand so I just go to the American language which is English then let's try to change the uh, date into English because I don't know how to read Pasatai or Pasaisan. So I'll just use English. American English to be exact. So blah 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 thing. Ah, there is also manual right here. Do we need to to put swap? Mmm swap no i don't know maybe i'm just gonna do like this it's just uh, i don't need swap because this is actually in my virtual box so oh why is it i'm just gonna put real b and then password let me see what is my password maybe something like that oh yeah probably the, like that same with the admin so I'm good with that so let me see this is already okay yeah 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 so those blah 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 oh yeah okay so let's start to install everything so putting a lot of effort into explaining this feature of this operating system in details at tromjaro.com so please visit the website to get an in-depth presentation they have the video actually i i saw the video it's uh, kind of cool you know 
uh, they have a lot of uh, information there so you better check it out uh, it is a trade free project so it it was since 2011 so they're getting that's gonna be awesome they have a lot there so if you are if you have time so vi please visit that website and try to download if you want to explore just put it on to the virtual machines either the uh, Oracle virtual machines or the gnome virtual machine so it's up to you if it is uh, in Windows or in Linux or in Mac OS so it's up to you guys uh, what do you want so try to to enjoy the uh, free uh, operating system software there is nothing to pay and at the same time it's highly customable uh, highly customable uh, you can enjoy everything create your desktop uh, learn about Linux and probably you'll end up to be a network engineer because if you start to use Linux your odds of working into the internet will be very 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 high <laughs> especially if you know already the commands and the uh, uh, text uh, editing plus the so-called uh, uh, navigation through the uh, Linux world so you are really into that one so you will end up to be a network engineer or a software engineer yeah because I say hey uh, you know if you are into Linux you probably know that our internet are based all in Linux servers so all of our internet servers except for a few which is uh, Windows Windows you probably pay very big just to to operate via that operating system software but if you are um, if you are uh, into Linux probably you will end up in Red Hat company or a Red Hat Linux company or probably you end up with Canonical with the Ubuntu Linux uh, they have server and desktop operating system software so it's all absolutely for free the only catch is with them is to pay for their services if you cannot already fix the system just call them they will assist you with that one uh, that's for service okay uh, this one is uh, desktop so this is for you know computer laptops desktop uh, uh, computers that you have at home so and even commercial desktop so you can install this one absolutely for free if there will be some software raid into your area and then you're using Linux they don't they don't uh, mind because if you are using Linux well basically they have no issue about that because Linux is for free as in freedom okay so how many how many uh, percent are we already like 35 percent so I'll just keep talking <laughs> so uh, basically uh, let's try to 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 educate you guys uh, I started my Linux in adventure way back in the early days of Linux uh, when they're still testing uh, the Linux uh, OS I remember the uh, the, the, the laptops uh, I remember the laptops are really bulky at the time way back in my early days like 1990s early 90s uh, the laptops are really big and bulky and at the same time uh, it is running in 
DOS form. So Windows DOS, Microsoft, I'm um, no, uh, Sun Microsystem DOS operating system software. Uh, of course, even Linux is running at a time with DOS, uh, which is only terminal thing. So everything starts with that particular area because at that time the computers are a little bit smaller but uh, I remember uh, when I was very very young like I think two years old three years old I have the, this uh, uh, memory uh, that uh, in a computer laboratory we call it computer laboratory but the computers are really really huge it's like one whole building or one whole uh, room full of just just stuff of memory and that memory is only like 100 megabytes thing and you are using the floppy disk because the floppy disk at the time it is a floppy thing with 5.7 5 yeah 5.7 inches of floppy disk and then eventually turn uh in 2000 no no in uh yeah in 2000 in 2000 no no it's in 95 uh we have the graphic interface already the windows has windows 3.1 or 3. Point, no no 3.3.1 and 3.11 and eventually led into windows 95 while linux has evolved from this dos uh command into a uh graphic interface thing or graphic user interface or GUI not only that but also Mac computers the Apple computers or the Apple one hmm Apple one the Apple has also uh, created the some some sort of one box of computer with all the keyboards are also there but uh, Windows has the tower plus the keyboards plus the mouse while the Linux also came up with their laptop and Sun also eventually turned uh, no more <laughs> it doesn't uh, evolve anymore so uh, I think Sun jumped into Linux and then suddenly Linux was exploring a lot of things and in, into the internet and suddenly everything was history and that thing started the internet uh, uh, era by Linux because at the time Linux uh, has two different uh, set like the desktop and the internet Wow so anyway let me see it is 93% so we still have few like 7% more uh, it will be done in several seconds several minutes probably 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 it's gonna be probably because I just keep talking right here <laughs> and in, in and uh, oh there you have it I just uh, spoken too soon so let's restart and try to see this from Jaro Linux in a bit Mm-hmm. Let's open. Is it? Yeah. Yep, yep. There you have it. It's loading. Mm. Let's put the oh let's put the password. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. So let me see. I'll change the system settings first. The desk, the not the desk, the display. Here is the display. One eighty. Right. Let's keep this configuration. 
Hello, doggy. Namtan. Doggy. Ow, ow. Huh. Okay. So, anyway, this is our setup right here. So, let me see our... Oh. So, we have different uh, backgrounds. I like a Filipino thing. I'm a Filipino. So, I love to visit this place. Yep. That's my own volcano in the Philippines. Uh huh. Okay. I'm okay with that. Let's see some of the desktop settings. Uh, let me see. How about the system settings? The system settings. Let's. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm okay with that. Oops. Uh oh oh. Uh oh. I'm too fast. <laughs> How many uh, RAM did I put into this machine? I think I just put it all right. Eight. Did I? Yeah, it's only eight. Yeah, right here. The random access memory is only eight. That's why. Uh, Red Hat Industry, yes. That's my graphic card. Printer, I didn't put any graphics. I mean, I didn't put any uh, printer. Uh huh. Yeah, of course, that is. That is. Let me see. How about the icons? Let's close this one. Hmm. Icons, where are you? Icons. I know they have some icons. Uh, you can change the icons right here. So let me see. How about files, documents, blah, 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 thing. Okay, how what's this? Firefox. Ah, the Thundran. Huh? Yeah. Usage. Usage? Oh. Okay, yeah, I don't have any swap because this is just my virtual machine. So I could just eventually, like, enjoy this one. Yep. How about this one? What is this? Okay. Add and... Oh, let me see. Is this the... Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is uh, the application, the app store. What is the name of their application store? Nothing. Uh, set manu settings. Oh, yeah, it's still the same. What's this? Oh, the trade free apps. Let me see if well, what we can find right here. Uh, it is in the website. Ooh, it's in the website. <laughs> How about this one? Uh, document. Oh, okay, this is just the documents. Do we have internet connection? Yeah, we have internet connection, but it's a little bit slower. How about this one? When I click, oh, the all applications are here. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, recent access, sorry, the development, education, graphics, internet internet browser oh firefox uh how about the, the multimedia the multimedia they have the webcam they also have the screen recorder yeah how about the office ah uh, they're using libre i think so only office this is only office let me open this one. Oh, mousepad. Wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. Uh, it's supposed to be this one. Oh, it's LibreOffice. So they have uh, came out of the box with LibreOffice. So that's already okay. We're cool about that one. I thought for a while they have the uh, only office in their in their website. So they have out of the box uh, office suit is LibreOffice uh, where is that 
how can we download that thing uh huh let me see if I, how can I download that thing I wonder I wonder I wonder is this the one or is this the one or is this the one or is this this one or this one or this one or maybe this one I don't know where did I find the application oh the application oh Evento is also here KDE the warp right here I thought there is uh, in this particular area is the only office I don't know let's try to see see more so I think I hung it again because I only have given like 8 gigabytes of memory ROM <laughs> so it's kind of laggy let's quit close all right so let me see if what they have do they have the discovery because I know the discovery or the application okay let's go to the app store what is the name of the app store oh we have this one oh let, let me go to the app store first app store app store app store hmm ah web app oh they have web apps i wonder what kind of apps ah, okay you just add the particular web app to the name of the web and for example yeah let's try to create the uh, photo p dot com we call it photo p mm -hmm. uh oh yeah this is the thing because I just put a little bit of ROM and the processor just only have yeah we have the logging thing photo p photo p so that's gonna be firefox yeah that's from our meter navigation do i have gonna put it navigation hmm is that okay how about the, the icon no maybe later i'm just gonna put it there yep launch Ta -da! there you have it now one step to be a yeah there have it. one step to be a so-called hacker <laughs> If you know how to do this, you are near to the hacking thing. Okay, let's close that one. Let's also close this one. Yeah, I'm looking for... Let me see about this one. Okay, you just have to change the icons. The icon settings, the fonts, the blah 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 thing. Yeah. Cool. So add and I think uh, yeah this is the discovery the add in uh, let me see let's put OBS let's try just uh, put OBS where's OBS OBS where are you I want to see uh, the OBS how do it download in this particular OS Ooh, ambulance uh, passing by. 
sorry don't be alarmed it's just an ambulance right here in my recording <laughs> oh mg where is the obs obs where are you or maybe it's just gonna you know just search obs and then there let's try let's try to download of course put the password the super secret password I want to see so it is uh, AOR refreshing everything mm -hmm. yeah I'll just gonna choose whatever it ultimately ch choose and of course I just gonna apply automatically because I'm looking for the OBS Ooh, nice reduction finished downloading nice <laughs> something new checking the integrity uh-huh uh-huh let us see uh oh estimated size uh, one over four so it's still running and uh, instruct to download everything maybe my internet connection is already done it again I don't know let us see it synchronizes everything so this is uh, the best part by just uh, uh, knowing your computer <laughs> knowing everything knowing about your computer you know oh okay so that's the thing when you push the super secret key password or the the key super key it will launch the application finder And it is still waiting for the dependency and synchronizes the software. Oh. And it hung again. <laughs> I don't know, this is probably the virtual machine problem. Uh, well, that's why we are trying to test this one. A test run to be exact. Ooh, question remains. Oh, um, what the hell? What the heck? What's happening? I don't know. Maybe it's just a bug. Or maybe it's my virtual machine. Something is not. I don't know. Maybe it is also the. This one. The updates. yeah I think it is also the updates I should click the update before clicking that installation huh why oh why why oh why oh why oh why <laughs> I'm bad so I think it is a little bit like let's minimize that one i don't want to stress things out and it's the same time this is just uh, playing this thing uh, in a virtual box so i don't know what will happen oh see it's just close how about let's click update first <laughs> and then there you have it it returned <laughs> so which means it's still running in the background so let's just minimize this one so I think there you have it if you want to check this one out uh, please do so uh, 
I'll minimize my virtual box and then proceed to that thing so anyway that's it for now for our science school looking back into this so called brand new for me another new thing the Trom Jaro Linux operating system software and I hope you enjoy watching this video as I uh, explore a lot of things right here in our Linux uh, uh, operating system software I hope you uh, is it really is it okay so I hope you enjoy watching our video right here in Science School taking a look into the Tromjaro Linux operating system software and next time I'll be uh, dishing out a lot of new stuff right here uh, and of course resume our second semester in several weeks from now so watch out for that one because I have a lot of new stuff going on coming in in this uh, second semester but right now let's enjoy the Linux operating system software and Linux uh, system and at the same time a new stuff right here in the free and open source software so this is Blair your science teacher right here in science school living the words being nice is better than being strong yes knowledge is important than strength and knowledge is important than beauty <laughs> of course and don't forget science means knowing because science is cool ciao